Can you live a balanced life when you're struggling financially and you've started to build a network marketing, affiliate marketing, or coaching business? In my experience, here is the myth. You can live a balanced life while striving for excellence. The truth? No, you really can't. And let me qualify that by saying this is only if you want to achieve big success and achieve, you know, your version of greatness. And let me also qualify this by saying it's only in the beginning. If you want to build a huge business, I mean, a top-notch, highly successful passive income business, then I would encourage you to read a book called The Law of Success in 16 Lessons by Napoleon Hill. In the book, Hill talks about developing your chief aim in life. I assume your chief aim at this time in life is building a big MLM affiliate marketing or coaching business. Once you have that chief aim, you want to become obsessed with it, right? Develop a single-minded purpose for achieving that chief aim. Then it's time to go to work and put in the time. Again, it's only in the beginning. I'm not talking about working 12 to 15 to 18 hours a day for the rest of your life. That's not what I'm talking about. But I am asking you this. What if you had to work 12 to 15 hours or so a day for a time to build something huge, right? A business that starts paying you $5,000, $10,000, $25,000 or more per month. Are you willing to put in that type of extra time for a season? Now, if you think about it, successful people always talk about developing a dream or a chief aim, one that they love to do. They have a purpose in life and it drives an enjoyment, a sense of satisfaction in what they do in a day in and a day out basis. It allows them to put in 15 hours a day for a season when that's what it takes to ramp it all up. And you can read some of the interviews. It's in all kinds of magazines or on podcasts. The interviewer will say, well, you say you work sometimes 15 hours a day. Why in the world would you do that? And the person being interviewed will answer back, hey, I enjoy it because that work that you call work to me is not really work. I thoroughly enjoy those 15 hours a day to the point where at the end of the day, I'm not tired. I actually feel energized and it feels like I only spent maybe an hour or two working because I really enjoy it. You see, most people look at someone who's working many hours, building something, striving for mastery as a little bit weird. But the reason they're looking at that as strange is because they're looking at it through a paradigm where they cannot stand their job or their career. So to work that normal eight hours a day is painful for most people. But see, their paradigm is like that because they haven't found any life purpose and applied it to the process of building a business. Where is their chief aim, right? It's non-existent because they never sat still long enough to think about it. And that's why they can't understand when someone like me or you spends a lot more time building into something that eventually pays us passively and massively. Understand this. If you spend some time right now putting in the time to build your business, then down the road, you can motor back. Down the road, you can take those 12 to 15 hours a day and motor it way back to a part-time schedule. You'll make more at that point working two to four hours a day than all of your friends and family that are still slaving away for eight to 10 hours working for others. Or worse, trying to make it on social security and some savings and a 401k in retirement. Or worse than that, trying to make it on social security only because the powers that be drained all the 401k savings at the worst possible time. Or even worse than all of that, those you love who become obsolete because they never built a personal brand business and fell to AI replacing what they do. But you lived an out of balance life for a short season. You took the time to learn new skills. You became more valuable in a way that AI can't compete with. And you built a residual income stream that no longer requires living out of balance. You have more time for your family or to make a difference for a cause that matters to you. I urge you to think about my message here if you're not seeing the results that you strive for yet. Do you need to ramp up the hours? Sleep a little less? Watch less Amazon, Hulu, Netflix, or Tubi or whatever, right? Stop getting programmed and start making a difference for other people. And by the way, my prayer for you today is that my ideas here help you in a meaningful way. And if you've picked up something valuable already, would you just take a moment to demolish that like button? It helps me get this message out to people I wouldn't get it to without your help. And I'd be honored, really, if you subscribe to my channel, Again, helping me reach other people out there with this message while making sure, you know, you're one of the first to know when I put new content up here. All right, let me finish up today's training with a quick recap. What I'm saying about working out of balance is only if you truly want to build something substantial with your business, okay? If you want to build something on a part-time basis to make an extra thousand or $3,000 a month, then obviously you can do that without going out of balance. My message today is not for you and that's okay. I'm talking to the person who sees themselves 
building a really big business. So what I would do if I were you is I would put together a plan because most people start out on a part-time basis and then build yourself a plan that might mean waking up at 3 a.m. to get business work done before you head out to the nine to five you're working to replace. Build a plan to eat a quick dinner with the family after work and then work to 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. before hitting the sack until the next 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. wake up alarm bell. Is it hard? Can you do it? Yep, I did. No excuses when the bills pile up and the job ain't cutting it and your business isn't yet paying you the extra cash required to keep your family safe from the tax man or the bill collector. And understand that people around you, your friends, your family, when you're investing maybe 10 hours a day, 12 hours a day, really building, they may look at you like you're a weirdo. And your mindset's got to be one that says, I ain't worrying about any of that because weird equals success. And these so-called normal people, they're not paying my bills or giving my spouse or my kids what they need. Their version of normal equates to mediocrity. And I ain't going to be mediocre anymore. That's the mindset you want to have. Don't be mediocre, my friend. You're so much better than that. And if it's your spouse tearing you down, complaining about it, sit him or her down and explain, hey, this is for a season so we can have all that we dream about and do all that we dream about doing. Get them on your side because there's nothing more dangerous to a business dream than a spouse who isn't on board with the sacrifice required. That's what I did at the beginning of my business journey. I got my wife to see the vision. And so when I left the dinner table early to work or dragged my butt out of bed at 4 a.m., she was cheering me on, not dragging me down. Here's what I can guarantee you. A few years from now, when you're motoring back the three or four hours on a part-time basis, maybe only working two or three days a week, while pulling in five figures per month. Those people calling you weird today will still trudge to their eight to 10 hour a day job and be hating life. Or worse, they'll try to survive on Elon Musk's or that World Economic Forum Schwab guy's universal income nonsensical ideas for those replaced by AI, right? Tell me I'm wrong. But those people who today laugh at you at holiday dinner tables will wonder what the heck you did to live so differently you might get the sense that I know what I'm talking about here, that maybe I've lived through this myself. I encourage you to live out of balance for a season. Get it done. Then enjoy a fabulous life for decades after that. Go, make your plan, and get to work on it. And by the way, Jesus admonished the disciples in Matthew 17 about a failure to believe in living via prayer and fasting. Remember, there's a powerful interaction between fasting and praying to the Most High God not the pagan new age gods, but to the most high God that will solve your business obstacles as well as any challenges your spouse, your kids, your grandchildren face in this world. And again, my prayer today is that these concepts help you in a significant way. If you've picked up something valuable, take that moment to demolish the like button because it does help me get my message out to more people. I just wouldn't get it to without your helping me do that. And it would mean a lot to me if you subscribe to my channel. Again, helping me reach others with a message while making sure you're the first to know when I do put new content up here. So that's it for this memo. And by the way, if you want to improve your results as a network marketer, take a look at the attraction marketing formula in this video's description. If you want to build a big internet-based business, take a look at our online business builder challenge there in the description. And if you're either of those people, along with maybe being a high-ticket coach, look at my affordable coaching options that I have there for you in the description. And I'll see you in my next memo with more exploration into the concepts and the skills that will drive more leads and sales for your business.